SpaceX just conducted its most ambitious and powerful test to date with its Starship Mars rocket. SpaceX ignited 14 Raptor engines on Booster 7, a prototype of Starship's first stage Super Heavy rocket, during a static fire test today, November 14, at Starbase, the company's South Texas facility. Full test duration of 14 engines, SpaceX founder and CEO Elon Musk tweeted shortly after the static fire, which took place at 1.51 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 18.51 GMT, and lasted about 10 seconds. The test was captured on video by observers such as NASA Spaceflight and Rocket Branch Boca Chica. Static fires are common pre-flight trials in which a rocket's engines are briefly ignited while the vehicle stays anchored to the ground. And SpaceX is gearing up for a flight with Starship, the program's first orbital test mission, which apparently will involve Booster 7 and an upper stage prototype known as Ship 24. That landmark flight could launch before the end of the year, Musk has said. Today's static fire could be a big step toward the orbital liftoff. It doubled the previous highest number of Raptor engines that SpaceX has ignited during a Starship engine test. But there's still considerable work to do to demonstrate Booster 7's flight readiness. The vehicle boasts a whopping 33 Raptors. Ship 24 sports six Raptor engines. SpaceX ignited all of them simultaneously during a September 8th static fire. SpaceX is developing Starship to take people and cargo to the moon and Mars, as well as perform a variety of other spaceflight tasks. Starship prototypes have flown a handful of test flights to date, but none of them have gotten higher than about 6 miles in the sky. And none of them have involved a super heavy vehicle. SpaceX has already inked a number of customers for Starship, including NASA, which picked the vehicle as the first crewed lander for its Artemis program of moon exploration. If all goes according to plan, astronauts will touch down on the lunar surface in 2025 or 2026 aboard Starship on the Artemis 3 mission.